Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to access your data partition in TWRP without decrypting your data partition on Android N. So as some of you may know, that you can't really decrypt or allow TWRP to decrypt your part, um, data partition uh, when you're running Android N. And well, it's a bit of a bummer if you wanna sometimes, uh, I don't know, root your phone or make a backup or something like that, or use TWRP in general. So you're gonna need to, or you're gonna want to be able to access it, right? So today I'll be going over, I think, two or three different ways, not too sure myself, but uh, of accessing TWRP or your data partition with TWRP. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll go into the recovery mode right now. I've just flashed TWRP 3.0.2-0, the latest one at the time of recording. And you're gonna see the screen that will ask me to decrypt the data partition, hopefully. Um, yeah, hopefully it was, um, sorry, it was encrypted when I went to Android N. Well, here you go. And if we enter a pattern, it, it should just stay there forever. This shouldn't move and it wouldn't do anything. Usually it should be done in a couple of seconds, right? It's just going to stay there and pretty much wait for us. So we don't want that. And look, it's, it's pretty annoying, right? So we're going to force power it off. Well, that took a screenshot. Don't worry. It's going to hold the power and volume down until we get back into the bootloader and we're going to do some cool stuff so we can use TWRP. So let's get started shall we? We're going to go to our computer and you're going to see my little Android folder here that I always like to set up when doing these things just so we can keep things organized and all that. I'm going to have these four files already there and I'll explain what they're going to do. So I'm going to be using the vendor image take on this where inside the vendor image I guess there are these libraries and I guess you can call them drivers too, that allow TWRP, or TWRP uses them in order to decrypt your data partition. And I guess some things have changed in the Android N um, vendor images so that TWRP can't actually do that, its process of doing it. So today we're gonna to be using the old, so the Marshmallow vendor image in order for TWRP to be able to decrypt the data partition. And then we're gonna flush it the Android N version uh, vendor image back over before we boot up again. So here's how it's going to work out. So first off you're going to need the Android tool zip and that is essentially just the ADB uh, fast boot and the DLLs there, just those things. And also you're going to need a or the latest Marshmallow vendor image. It could be from a few uh, months ago, a few builds ago, but if you have the MTC19X vendor image then you'll be gold. And we also need the latest version of TWRP. As you can see, I already, already downloaded that. And of course, you're gonna need the same vendor image that you are running of Android N. Now, that is really badly said. And so basically what I'm saying is that if you're running the MPD 56N version of Android N, I think that is the fourth preview, you're gonna to want to make sure you flash that vendor image for that specific build of Android N. Now, that's much better. So I have that downloaded, all these files here. So you can close that browser once you're done. And basically what we're going to do is open up our Android tools folder. We're gonna to extract all the files just outside here. Just like that, good old drag and drop. We already have my vendor image labeled as the MTC19X vendor image. And we also need to extract the MPD56N vendor image. And how am I gonna do that is, I'm just gonna go through the factory image. Uh, we're gonna open up the factory image. We'll give it a sec, it's quite big. I'm going to open the Angular MPD56N. I'm going to open this image, Angular MPD56N.zip. Uh, I'm going to open that up. And from within there, we're going to extract the vendor image. And here it is. Right there, we're just going to extract that. And once we're extracted, we're just going to rename it to Angular vendor dash np mpd 56 n dot image so just so we know which one is which and what we're going to flash so currently our device is in the bootloader mode as you can see we're going to hold shift and right click and open command window here so i want to assume you already have twrp flashed and that won't be an issue and what we're going to do is type in these commands 
we're going to flash the vendor image first. We're going to type in fast boot flash vendor. Leave a space on the end and drag in our NTC 19x vendor image or any vendor image from Marshmallow. And we're going to hit enter and flash that. Okay, cool. Now we're done. We can head over to our device, hit the power, sorry, volume down button a few times until we can hit the recovery mode. I'm going to hit the power button and we're going to boot into TWRP. And hopefully we'll be able to see that it can actually decrypt our data partition and, you know, look around and all that. And of course you'll end up flashing an image, which I'll do. I'll just uh, quickly copy over SuperSU when, I'm, when we're done. Super SU, where are you? And we're going to put in our, what do you call it, our pattern. And as you can see, we have su uh, successfully decrypted and we're in. So we can see on our computer, if I just switch back real quick, that our internal storage is here and we can go ahead and I'll just copy the latest version, which is this one. Latest version of Super SU on there. And if we go back to our device, we will be able to see that it's down here. And of course, we can flush that. And that'll go ahead and install itself. But we'll have to be careful that we need to make sure we flush the Android N. So the other, um, sorry, vendor image that I was talking about back onto our device beforehand. And we can do this uh, different ways. We can do it like we did when we flashed the Marshmallow vendor image using Fastboot. So we can type in those commands again and reboot our phone back into the bootloader and do it. Or we can actually flash, sorry, flash an image from our phone or within TWRP, I should say. So if we head back to our computer, we can go back to our Android folder where we have all the files and we can copy the Angular vendor MPD56N vendor image to our device here. We'll just copy it through. And once that is done, we're going to head back to our device. And basically what we're going to do is hit the back arrow and what we're going to do is go tap on install image down in this corner and this will show any .img files. So we should see that vendor image at the bottom and we can select the partition we're supposed to flash it on which is the vendor image partition and we're going to swipe to confirm that flash. As you can see the flash is completed and if we just hit back we can go back and we reboot ourselves back into the recovery. So we'll ki we can kind of test this theory out. And we shouldn't be able to decrypt our data partition. So it should just stay there like uh, the first time I showed you. So you can see that worked as well. I'm assuming once you're rooted, if you're already rooted, you can actually do this another way where you can use either, I think it was Flashify or even Flash5 to be able to flash those images when you're within Android. So we're just going to start up our phone and we're going to see if that's possible. I'm pretty sure it is. So once we boot up, we should see our phone uh, already rooted on Android N. So I'll be back when the phone finishes booting up. Alrighty, so our phone is booted back up. You can see when the Android N beta program. And once our stuff loads up, we can quickly see that there should be TWRP. Whoops, I forgot how this thing works. There should be, sorry, C, um, Super SU. I am an expert. I've never seen, oh, I haven't seen that yet or before. I don't know what the simple one looks like. That'd be nice to have a look. So, you can see here we are successfully in. We are, we are in the systemless root and so what so sorry we're going to have a look at we can, if we can do it through flashify or uh, flashfire yeah it's still not working it's stuff so i'm going to leave it here now guys so thanks for watching sorry it's been dragged on for a little bit i just wanted flashfire to work so i could show you i guess another way of doing it without really needing your computer that much so sorry about that um but anyway thanks for watching guys of course, if you have any more other kind of tutorials or requests that you want to see, hopefully I can get around doing it after the trials that I have uh, coming up in two weeks. Uh, hopefully after that, uh, I'll be able to do a little bit more videos until my next major exam, the HSC. And 
that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for this long. And we almost hit 3,000 subscribers as well. So thank you guys so much for that. I don't know. It's, uh, it's really jaw-dropping. Uh, I'm in awe. I mean, every day I get to see it, you know, rise up little by little. And it makes me smile. So thank you guys very much. And I'll talk to you in the next one.